Are you designing with a Satara ARM processor and need to get a better understanding of your power consumption requirements? Then the Power Estimation Tool is for you. Hi, I'm Alejandro Arivas, Satara ARM Processor's Brand Manager, and over the next few minutes, I'll explain what the Power Estimation Tool is for and how to use it. The Power Estimation Tool gives you the ability to choose multiple application scenarios so you can see the power consumption of those scenarios. You can edit the scenarios to fit your specific needs. Plus, the tool can show you advanced power saving techniques to further reduce overall power consumption. You can get an idea of your power requirements in three easy steps. First, download the spreadsheet and input your values. Second, submit the spreadsheet for your analysis. And third, view your report. Let's go through each step now. To begin, go to www.ti.com PET. This takes you to the Power Estimation Tool page where you can download the applicable spreadsheet for your specific processor. As you can see, you can download either the simplified or the advanced spreadsheet depending on your specific power needs. In this video, we'll only look at the simplified spreadsheet, but if you like to live on the edge, then download the advanced spreadsheet as well, you wild and crazy animal you. I'll go ahead and download the simplified spreadsheet for AM335X. After downloading, open up the spreadsheet. One of the first things you'll notice are the six big gray buttons across the top. Sure, we could have chosen a nicer color, but if it's good enough for E.L. James, then it's good enough for us. Some of you got that. What does each button do? Well, even though it's listed first, the click to submit button is the last button you want to push, as that is the one that submits the spreadsheet for you. I'll discuss this more later, so resist the urge to click on it now. The default settings will take you back to the default settings of the spreadsheet. We've also provided some examples on each spreadsheet. For AM335X, they are Dry Stone, OS Idle, and Deep Sleep Zero. By selecting any of these buttons, the spreadsheet will automatically populate with the values of that example. Information on what these specific examples do can be found on the Power Estimation Tool Wiki. And how do you get to that wiki? Click on the Wiki Article button. The wiki further explains what you can do with the spreadsheet and how to use it effectively. Now, let's scroll down the spreadsheet. There are configurable sections to the spreadsheet. The first one here is the high-level system configuration, which gives you the ability to set the device revision, DDR memory used, temperature, and other various options. The processor section allows you to set the operating points for both the core and the processor. You can also set the utilization of the ARM subsystem, which includes the Cortex-A8 and the Neon coprocessor. In addition, you can set the utilization of the 3D graphics accelerator, which we call the SGX subsystem. The Peripherals section allows you to set the utilization of the numerous peripherals included in the AM335X. And lastly is the Analog Modules section. I'm not sure why the word modules is plural since it only has one item in that section, but hey, it makes life interesting. In this section, you can turn on or off the Analog to Digital Converter, or ADC. Once you have input all your relevant values, you'll need to save your spreadsheet. Make sure you save it in Excel 2003 format. If you don't save it in this format, then your spreadsheet will be rejected like that kid who just turned 21 but couldn't get into the bar because he forgot his ID at home. Not that that's happened to me or anything. But seriously, save it in 2003 format or it will get rejected. Once it's saved, you are ready to submit your input spreadsheet. That means it's time to click the submit button. Woohoo! When you click it, you'll be taken to a my.ti login page in which you'll need to log in or create a new login. Once logged in, you'll see this upload page. Choose a file from the location you saved it to previously. Review the terms and conditions. Click the I agree checkbox and submit. If successful, our servers will analyze the data and you'll receive a report within one hour of your submission. If it fails, that means you didn't save it in Excel 2003 format and you're getting the servers angry. You don't want to see them when they're angry. We received the Power Estimation Tool report, so let's take a look at the results. You'll see nine different power rails, which include processor, core, SRAM, DDR, and others. You'll also see the associated minimum and maximum voltages of each rail. Leakage and active current are also shown for each rail. Adding those two currents together and using our trusty formula, P is equal to VI, the spreadsheet multiplies the summed current to the voltage to give you the total power for each rail. These totals are summed to give you the total device power consumption. The second tab of the report is a max module utilization. This provides you with the maximum throughput possible with each metric. It also shows you your estimated usage. This allows you to further modify your spreadsheet to meet your power and performance goals. And there you have it. 
you now know how to use a simplified power estimation spreadsheet. I hope you found this video useful and it helps you with your design. Be sure to go to ti.com PET for more information and to download the spreadsheet. For other Sitara related training, go to ti.com slash Sitara training. Thanks for watching and remember, have fun in everything you do.